Alright, what's up you guys? This is Oswaldo from Rock Entry. And we have a special guest today, Paul Robinson. How's it going guys? Excited <laughs> to be here. Alright, so as you guys know, I suck at slab. So, he's going to show me some of the basics on slab timing. Yeah, just a couple basics today. I know that we're going to be doing a lot more kind of training oriented stuff for this video, but um, we're down here, we're at Evo today, and there's a lot of really great slab climbs at this gym, so I thought I'd get these guys on a, a couple of the fun slab boulders before we get upstairs and go training. All right, let's get started. <laughs> okay, so on this climb, um, really what you want to do is just concentrate on those feet, making sure that we're kind of being always in a position before we move that we're not going to be barn dooring we're not going to be like the second we take our hand off our bodies we're going to try and keep it from moving whatsoever okay. because if we are here and i want to go over here and i kind of get myself over here and i go like this like i'm falling away from the wall so making sure that we're in a position so that when we take a hand off the wall, our body doesn't move. That's really important. Okay. Okay? okay. And so, and then also too, when we're standing on these volumes, making sure we can get as much surface area on the volume as possible. That's really important um, because that's going to give us more confidence when we're on the volume, and it's also going to allow us our feet to not slip. Okay. Um, so let's see how this one goes for you. All right. So we're going to be working on this yellow one. Very good. Yes. Good. There you go. Very nice. Yep. Yep. You got those feet. Good. Good. You can do it. Yeah. Nice job. How'd that one feel? It felt good. Good. Well, good. Nice Thanks. one. That was sick. <laughs> well, Sweet. cool. Sick. Right, good so job. You made that look easy. I really like that. The technique was really good. I really like that you got yourself into a good body position before coming to that pinch because it's super easy to get yourself kind of off center. And if you go to that pinch, like both of those holds are really bad. So it's really important to be centered and kind of have that nice plumb line like yeah. you did and be able to get yourself centered, match in and be able to finish that boulder. So that was very well climbed. Sweet. We're gonna have to find you a harder one. <laughs> <laughs> we might get a harder one. All right, so let's find a harder problem, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, we're gonna find a harder problem, okay? Well, he made that yellow one look a little too easy, so we're gonna step it up a little bit on this one and we're gonna get him on this blue one behind us, so. Sweet. Let's see how you do. All right. So this one is gonna trend to the right. Um, which again, like the other one that we were on went straight up and down. So it was a lot easier to kind of find those balance points. So on this one, what we're going to be working on is again, finding those balance points. But a lot of the time when we're trying to find these balance points, what's going to happen is it's going to be a left foot on the wall and a right foot flag. And that's going to allow us to kind of sink over top of our shoulder like this and to be able to move uh, uh, with the next hand. Okay. okay Does that okay. make sense? That makes um, okay. A lot of the time, it's going to be really beneficial to try and be as close to the wall as we can and be, be moving as slowly as we can. Oh, man. All right. Let me check the tag on this one. <laughs> What's it say? Oh! oh <laughs> I didn't check no, the tag. Film pot. Film pot. Is it? Film pot. Look what he wants like me to do. You're a V10 climber. Did you? <laughs> I started to. Oh. He wants me to oh. do a V9. I'll try it. Let's try. Oh, Let's try. I'm just going to I didn't know how hard it was either. <laughs> you didn't know how hard it was. No. I didn't look at the tag. <laughs> right. I'll still try it though. Okay. Good. High left foot. Yep. Right foot flags out right. Very good. Stay tight. Yes. Oh, there you go. Good. Push, 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 push. <sighs> yeah. Yeah. Join me. All right. Liz is gonna join me on this one. This is good. This is good. Slab is so hard. Yeah. So watch how she transitions her body. Oh, she even uses oh. that foot. See how slow, see how what she was able to get her body really far yeah, right? Closer. Yep. There you go. Very good. 
Come on, Liz. Come on. What? Wow. Wow! That's sports action, guys. <laughs> Look at the top out. The finish. Nice! Oh my goodness. Okay, well, I did not expect to do it. <laughs> nice. That was really good. All right. Good. Good. Yes. Good. Transition. Oh my god. Come on. Stay into the wall. Stay into the wall. Oh. Try for me one thing. Okay. Try here and here. Left toe. Left toe. Right foot just flagged. Okay. Because I think that's too high for you. Yeah, because yeah. I get stuck. Right? Yeah. Because the second you got the right, it went, your butt went like this. Oh. We don't want that. Oh, okay. We got to keep our butt into the wall. Butt into the wall. Yes. So just try left and just really far flag. Anywhere in here. It doesn't really matter. But you're going to still be like this and you're going to come over and then you're going to come up with the okay, other hand. Sure. Good. Yes, very good. Very oh. good. Good, yes. Oh, no. a little tech tip for everyone. Everyone, buy a brush at your local gym or, or a toothbrush at your supermarket and brush your holds because it's gonna help you out a little bit when you're climbing. And so I like to brush almost after every single try, but after every couple tries, make sure to just give the holds a little bit of a brush, just like that and you're gonna get that, that grime and that, that chalk and everything off of these holds, and it's gonna give you a little bit better opportunity for sending on your next attempt. Awesome. Good, yes. Yes, oh. that was it. Oh. Yep. Transition right. Oh, you had it that time that though. If the foot didn't slip, you'd do the move. Okay, so we did a couple of uh, lower angle climbs and now it's time to try something a little bit steeper. Um, we got this really cool yellow one that I did the other day that I really liked, so I'm excited to see how it goes for you. All right, I'm excited too. What I would say is there's a lot of holds, so don't feel like you have to use them all. So if you feel like there's a better sequence for you, I mean, for instance, you know, you could go right, left, left and then you'd skip that or or if you want right left right left um here and you could skip this one so just just kind of look around and see what what looks like a good beta for you good yep left foot to the start good right here good very good Good, one more time with the left hand. Good, good, very good. Left toe, right, right hand high, very good. Left hand, good, again with the left. Come on, you got this thing, Go try and go slow to it. Good, oh. yes, good job. Good try, good first effort. That was really good. Yeah, just I, what I would say is don't have a right foot on and just a left foot because with the right foot on, what it's doing is it's pushing your butt out again from the wall. Oh, okay. And whereas if you just have a left, it's going to allow you to stay close to the wall and flag and then come up. Okay, yep. I'll, I'll try that move. Okay. Right hand up. Good. Yes. Good. Slow. Yes. Very, very good. Good. Oh, oh that move. Hi. That move is hard. So what we're kind of working on here is we're, we're working a boulder problem. And what that means is we're not trying it from the start every single time. Because if you try it from the start every time, it's kind of like a horse with blinders on. They kind of can't see their surroundings. So the best way and the, the best way to climb a boulder problem in the quickest manner is to be able to do all of the movements and then to kind of start trying it from the bottom. So if you find yourself constantly falling on a move, maybe just try that single move. And then um, once you've figured out the rest of the boulder problem, go back and then start from the bottom because it's gonna give you a lot better chance to do that move when you're, at, when you're feeling 100% than when you're feeling tired um, after having done a couple of moves beforehand. Awesome, yeah. Come on. Good. Come on. Tension. Come on. Go for it. Yes. Ah. I get so pumped. And then I can't grip the rest of the day and I have to eat lunch and come back like in an hour. 
<laughs> but we will see. All right. Oh. Uh, yeah. Yeah, you just press start. Now. I'll press it. These guys That's are too strong, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Even this guy, too. This guy's too strong, too. <laughs> no. uh, weak, the weakest among all. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> oh, man. All right. I'm going to try this yellow one one more time. Just the top portion. So. Want me He's to film you? We'll see. Yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah. All right. This is going to help me film. Come on. Good. Come on. Tension. Yes. Ah, yes. It, it's like a little, you have to be like so precise. Yeah, and the thing is like what I feel is that when I'm going for it, I'm going for it without um, control. So as I hit it, I come off. So you're right, I have to go as slow as I as can. As slow as you right? can, exactly, exactly. Because you really only have... You have no wiggle room, up mm -hmm. or down. You have to be perfectly precise because that hold is exactly as wide as your fingers are. So you have to just be able to get just enough in there. Yeah. That's like my... Come on. Good. Come on, try hard. You've got it. Yes. Yes. Oh, oh my gosh, you're so, so close. Good. I'm so, I'm close. so curious. Can you try it? Yeah. Can you do it? Yeah. I'm so curious how he's gonna do it. So probably if I watch him do it, it will probably help me too. Okay. So very similar to like what you were doing. Just getting that left toe on. Oh my! Like that. Just boom. Like just boom. Got to be just right into it. Maybe bring your body a little bit higher. <laughs> I gotta get his climbing shoes, man. Evolve? New Evolve? <laughs> Those are the pretty toes. <laughs> Maybe bring your body a little bit higher. So like you're here, and then you're trying to pull to the move. Pull your body really high, and so that you're kind of just like, you're like almost in line with it. Try that. Okay, so pull yeah. in, and then so move right. So rather than being here and pulling up and going to a hold like you normally would, uh -huh. get into like a locked off kind of position and then just more or less just move your left hand. Okay, okay, I like that, I like that. So, pull in as much as I can. Yup, and, and then, then go. Okay. Yup. Good, now pull up. Yes, good, and go. Yes. There you go. High right foot, drop the left. Yes! Good job. So that worked. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, because I think... Oh, yes! Because I think it was it was too much movement that basically when when you have to go for a hold really slowly, there's a lot that goes into it, right? So what you were doing there is when you were coming from below, you were coming up and going for the hold and trying to get into it. Whereas by preemptively getting yourself into the position where you know you needed to be, all you had to do then was move your left hand which is like just slowed it down and made it a little bit more of like a basic move. Yeah. And then you were able to do it. Yeah. Perfect. I just got to say thank you, Paul. Of course, for, dude. For showing me some technique because, you know, it's obvious I got to work on my slap climbing. <laughs> and, <laughs> we all do. We all do. <laughs> now, you guys, make sure you check out Paul Robinson's YouTube channel. Awesome content. Paul, do you have anything to say? 
thank you. Thank you guys all for watching Rock Entry's channel, my channel, and just being a part of such an awesome community. Awesome. Paul also did a collaboration with our good friend Geek Climber. You guys, he shares with him five climbing techniques. It's a must watch. Make sure you click on this suggested video. Love you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time.